we're so excited about the Moon Moon Project. We have loved the moon since we were really little. Our grandfather used to tell us a story about how billions of years ago the Earth had two moons. As he told us the story, we imagined the moons were twins, one a little taller and one a little smaller, just like me and Hadley. As our papa's story goes, one night a dolphin that had watched the moons playing together for weeks leapt out of the water and grabbed the smaller moon, pulling her into the water. But the sisters did not want to be separated, so now the moon in the sky reflects on her twin in the ocean. So tonight when we see the moon over the Atlantic Ocean in South Florida, we see one shining in the sky and one shimmering in the ocean. As you might expect, his tall tail is captivating. We ask him to repeat it over and over again. And that story was the beginning of our obsession with the moon. Imagine how excited we were a couple of years ago when we read that Professor Eric Oswald had a theory that billions of years ago, the Earth did in fact have two moons, one bigger than the other. Their orbits eventually collided, so they became one. Amazing to think about. But the thing we love most about the moon is that it teaches us all about perspective. <laughs> While here on Earth, we only see the same side of the moon, people in the northern and southern hemispheres see the moon differently. Let's say Hadley is in Australia, in the southern hemisphere, and I'm in North America, in the northern hemisphere. We will see the same phases of the moon, but it will appear as if different sides of the moon are lit. Here is a new crescent moon that I would see at my home in Florida, in the northern hemisphere. And here's an example of the same moon that I would see from the Sydney Harbor Bridge in the southern hemisphere. It's the same moon, just seen from a different perspective. Getting along well with all the other people and creatures in the universe is all about understanding their experience and perspective. And that's why, that no matter how you look at it, the moon is 